From time to time, people come into my workshop and they see my plane sitting on the bench just like this, and they say, ooh, that is so bad to do that. It's absolutely the wrong thing to do. And I understand where it comes from, and I want to explain why I put my plane this way rather than laying it on its side, which is what people tell me I should be doing after 50 years of me using this bench plane. Let's take a look at the history because it started back in 19, the 1930s. Look at photographs prior to that. You'll see the bench planes on joiners' benches will be upright like this. But after the 1930s, when they introduced to schools that you should lay the bench plane on its side like this, it was to stop little children, 12, 13-year-olds, whatever, putting their planes down on top of metal, on top of screws, on top of nails. It was to stop them from damaging the plane iron. And, but laying it on its side is not really the best thing either because if I take this, pick it up and I catch the blade, I'm going to damage it when it's on its side anyway. And that was happening just as much. So my bench plane remains here. Let me tell you the reason. When I was in school, I did get a clip round the ear just like many of us of my age did in that time uh, where the teacher would come around and say, don't lay your plane that way, lay it on its side. We'd get a clip. But then when I started work at 15 and I was working with craftsmen, I never saw them lay the plane on its side. I laid mine on its side because I'd been programmed to do it that way and they would just generally get on with their work and never told me to do that. And I realized why, because in the day-to-day -day of my work, I take my plane, I take my shavings like this, I've got my shavings coming off, I need to do the adjacent face, I pull my plane back, stand it on its edge here, go back in for my next strokes, pick my plane up, it's ready for action, go straight to the wood, take my shaving, pull it back, go to the next face, and do the same, and my plane is ready for action throughout the day. Laying it on its side is not something I do, primarily because when I lay it down, if I clunk it like this, then my plane has already been adjusted incorrectly. Now it's out of alignment because when I put it down, it's getting clunked. That's generally, I'm not dissing any method. I think we should respect what they were trying to do at the time. But now we're in a new era when children are not taught how to use woodworking planes in schools. You're not children, most of you are not. And I think it's good to establish a practice that is really practical for you. So pick your plane up, micro adjust it, and you're ready to go, and just don't put it on top of any metal. I know where every piece of metal is on my bench. I'm not going to put my plane on top of it. So I hope this will explain why we leave our planes upright like this. I think it's a perfect way to work, and you choose for yourself. If you want to lay your plane on its side, there's nothing wrong with it. It's entirely up to you. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.